Hey, Tea Sipping Book Worms, what's up? It's me, Gabby, from Tea and the Blog of Books, Tea and Everything Me, and you are watching another tea review. Okay, guys, so the tea that I'm reviewing today is another tea by the Master's Teas collection from Adagio Teas. You know, I'm obsessed with this collection. Matter of fact, I don't even know when, well, actually the last tea review that I did was not a Master's Tea collection, but like all of the teas before that, I believe, were Master's, Master's Teas collection by Adagio Teas, okay? I'm obsessed with Adagio Teas in general, but I've been obsessed with their Master's Teas collection for, you know, since they came out with it. And I can't remember when they came out with it, if it was sometime last year or whatever, but I'm obs I've been obsessed ever since. Okay guys, so speaking of Master's Teas by Adagio Teas, I am going to be doing a collaboration with them. I've told you about this, but it's kind of gone silent just because I'm still working on it. It is the Grace and Gratitude Journal, the first journal of Tea and Blog, and it's going to be released shortly, very, very soon, guys, and I'm really excited about it. I'm also doing a collaboration with Master's Teas by Adagio Teas, and I can't wait to release it. It's going to be so much fun. Okay guys, so for those of you who are not aware of how I like to do my tea reviews, let me explain to you what I like to do. I like to talk about the hue, <laughs> I had to think about it, the scent and the sip of all the teas that I like to review, and this tea is no exception, so let's get started. Okay guys, so first of all, this is the package it comes in. This is the um, sample size. So I've never gotten, because you know I'm a tea blogger, I try not to get like too large of any like I don't want to get too much of any tea because I'm on to the next and on to the next and so I don't like to have a lot of teas in my tea cabinet matter of fact you know ever since I moved from my house into my apartment I only have two well, techn well technically two drawers of tea like they're pretty deep drawers but only two this entire section over here is my tea section as you see I have my Breville tea maker right here but I try not to order a lot of tea. So I love their sample sizes, okay? And their sample sizes are re dramatically like reduced price. I believe the full amount for this tea is $24 and the other, like the sample size amount, maybe like $12 or something like that, or maybe even eight or $9. I can't remember, but I'll put it all below. Matter of fact, if you're watching this directly from YouTube, you may wanna watch it directly from tnblog.com or at least go over to the blog post after you're finished watching the video because there's beautiful pictures and there's more information about this tea and where you can get your very own bag. So let's start with the hue of the tea. I love, okay, first of all, let me tell you what the tea is called. It's, <laughs> I didn't even tell you the name of the tea. It's called Shincha Sincha, okay? And Shincha is the term used to describe basically the first pickings of the sencha or Japanese green tea okay so you may also hear the term uh, sencha premier I've heard that term before also it's basically shincha means like the first pickings so normally this tea has a very umami um, kind of nutty uh, very very heavy taste but the very first uh, pickings has a more light and fruity taste so it's you know considered to be kind of like a special tea okay and I Think it's special okay guys so let's talk about the hue um so i love beautiful green teas they are so just vibrant and this tea is a pale green matter of fact i have it right here but of course i'm going to have pictures below uh you can barely see the green color really like it, it looks more like um like a cloudy white tea right here but when you see the pictures below will know what I'm talking about. Okay, so it's a beautiful pale green, have my notes right here, beautiful beautiful pale green, um, kind of like pickle juice hue, but not as dark as pickle juice. Um, I was just imagining that a summer dress in the color of this tea would look absolutely amazing. It's a very summery color, bright, vibrant, but still like a pale green. Very beautiful color of tea. I can see it um inside of a large glass picture with fruit and things inside of it i think that it would probably be it would taste good chilled also but just the visual of the tea is very summery very bright very beautiful okay so the scent of the tea i tried smelling first the dried leaves because i love smelling the leaves first and the leaves had a sweet candied apricot scent 
just very delicious and appetizing. Now, whenever I uh, steeped the tea, I steeped the tea for, I believe I steeped it at 165 for two minutes. Yeah, um, I may have steeped it at 175. Let me see. Yeah, I think I steeped it at 175 for two minutes, which the recommended steep is 165 for two minutes. And so um, I think that if I had steeped it at 165, then I probably would have brought out a lot of those like fruity, soft fruit notes. And so the next time I steep it, I'm going to steep it at 165. This time around, it was 175 for two minutes. And the scent of the liquor was very nutty, kind of like nutty greens with something sweet not apricot but more like a raisin whenever you smelled it but the, the sweetness of the raisin was very very faint um not as strong uh as a sweet apricot uh scent when you you smell the dry leaves okay so that's the scent of the tea guys so let's move on to the sip of the tea you know the sip is just another word i use to describe the taste of the tea okay so, you know, I like to add honey to my tea just to see how it switches up, right? But before I add honey to my tea, I like to try it just as it is. So without honey, it has a nutty, full-bodied, slight, slightly sweet, but fruity notes. And the fruity notes are very faint towards the end. So the nutty heaviness, there's a very heaviness, there's, this tea has a very heavy body. It reminds me of a white tea with the nuttiness, and it may be because I steeped it at 175. I need to steep it at 165 and see just how much of that light fruitiness comes out of the tea. But um, at the end, uh, there is a fruity kind of like apricot ap aftertaste, um, but the tea is still warm and heavy like summer, <laughs> especially especially Texas summer, <laughs> you know, hot and heavy. In Texas but the tea is a very warm and 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 full-bodied tea okay guys so when I added a couple of teaspoons of honey the tea actually turned out to be something that I just I can see myself sipping it um, chilled like I was telling you inside of a large pitcher maybe with uh, blended with some type of fruit or whatever but I really liked the tea with honey and it just made me want it chilled so with with honey the soft apricot notes come forth okay they're still soft but they they take premier place and then their um the nuttiness becomes a com a complement and takes a back seat um so they kind of switch switch roles and the overall body is still warm and heavy and it takes on a sweet soft warm summer vibe i love this tea guys and another wonderful tea by master teas by adagio teas um just i just love it i just love it now once again guys if you um want to see more images of this tea especially better images than what you see here in the camera okay um go over to the blog post beautiful pictures of the tea more information about the tea where the tea is from the region all of this stuff um the amount of caffeine and even uh some um steeping suggestions and all of that good stuff guys well there you have it that is my tea review of shinsha sincha by masters teas by adagio teas if you like this tea review guys i'll go ahead and hit the like button perhaps others will see the tea review and like it too if you haven't already subscribed directly to teaandblog.com make sure you subscribe because that's like halfway entering yourself in all of the giveaways and i give away really good stuff guys like i give away the good stuff that i buy for myself just so i'll be able to give away the extra one that i buy for you i give away really good stuff so you want to go ahead and subscribe directly to tnblog.com also you can follow at tnblog on instagram facebook and all that good stuff and if you would like to donate to tnblog there's a donate button at the top of the web page all you have to do is click it any and all donations that you give are greatly appreciated and that is t end until next time guys keep sipping happily ever after